Hey everyone, welcome back! Today I'm going to show you a very useful drill that's going to help you improve your cue ball control a lot. We're gonna start with first variation. We're gonna put five balls in the line and the goal is to run out from one to five in numerical order without touching the other balls. I also attached the spin diagram on the corner so you are able to see the spin that I'm applying on every single ball. So I hope it's gonna be useful and good luck with this variation. Here we go, and now we are on to the second variation, which is going to be more challenging. We're gonna have 10 balls on the table, and once again, the goal is to run out from one to 10 without touching the other balls. Once again, we have spin diagram here for demonstration. If you feel like level 2 was way too easy for you, try the next variation. It is way more challenging, first of all, because we add 5 more balls on the table, so we have ball number 2 and 3 placed on the spot, and we're gonna place ball number 1 a little bit above the spot. We're gonna start with ball in hand, and we're gonna go up and down table from one line to another. The goal is to alternate lines, and of course we have only two corner pockets available good luck with this one
All right, and now get ready for the most challenging variation of this one. So just putting this 15 ball in the center of the table makes such a big difference in the level of difficulty. Because, for example, in the previous two variations, there are so many shots where I would try to play the position for the next one, landing the cue ball closer to the middle of the table, because from there I feel like it gives me like the best chance to get good for the next ball right and in this variation you have to avoid the center of the table because of this obstacle ball there and it gets really difficult it took me probably like good seven or eight tries to finally complete this one but trust me it's worth it this exercise is so good for your cue ball control because it constantly forces you to avoid this obstacle ball and get more creative with your positional play for example on this 4 ball, of course, I could get a little closer to 15, but it would give me a little bit more risk to get hooked. So I chose to have a bigger angle on the 4, you know, to take a tougher shot, but I'm sure that I will keep my run going without having a risk of being snookered and be done with this one. So it's, you know, all about percentages and risks. Sometimes you have to go for a tougher shot in order to give yourself more chances to get out. This 11 ball is a really good example of taking your risks and judging the situation on the table and turning it into your advantage, right? So, as you can see, I got two straight. Of course, I could cheat the pocket to create the angle and force the cue ball to move to the other side of the table, but I have four inch pockets on my table, so I don't really want to do that because it gives me a lot of risk of missing the ball. So instead, I just draw back take on a little bit more difficult shot on the 12 but i give myself more chances to stay alive in this run out This shot is a really good example to show you my thought process as well. For example, I could of course draw back and play the 15 in the side, but instead I chose to play a simple stop shot and take on a longer shot in the corner because the natural tension line brings me right there and I have pretty much straight and shot in the corner pocket, right? So why would I pick a more difficult shot in the 14 if I can play it more simple? and give a better result, right? So the goal is to keep it as simple as possible. Here is a happy smile. 
Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more. See you in the next one.